Hey folks, welcome to episode 84 of this Let's Play series of Shadow Empire. We are on round 137. Alright, let's have a look what happened in the last turn. Okay, Robosphere Republic is still clinging on for dear life. Uh, this is Taridor, I think. Um, I hope they're not trying to, planning to invade me. It's kind of looking like it now. I don't think I can manage them at the same time as the uh, the other ones that attack me, whose name I've forgotten. Let's go to the next regime. Vertello aren't doing anything. Um, same with those. Okay, so this is this is our foe, Karanon Pax, who we've now successfully split in half. You see that this is the gap. Let's just stop this a sec. This is the gap here, look, between our two nations. And uh, this isn't some alien territory, which, I, which I've successfully used to drive, kind of drive a wedge between West Karanon and East Karanon, as I've dubbed them. Now, Karanon are desperately trying to take Karanon back, uh, their home city back, but they're not having very much luck. And these guys are a nation in decline now, I think. They have got plenty more zones. But I'm going to struggle to take them. Now this is um, Tarafel. And Tarafel are having some success in pushing me back. Um, I'm hoping... Yeah, we've, we've really just not... We've just not got the troops on this border. They are, they're old model troops. They're, um, they're under strength. And really, look, yeah, they're they're they successfully attacking us in in a smart way. Now, um, I have got some tanks on the way down, and my and my tanks should be able to to help fight this battle for us. But I do need to get more troops down here and more modern troops as well. It's really important that I get some, at least some Gauss weapons down there, if not lasers. This is the uh, this alien nation here. Who have surrounded have now actually surrounded my troops here. And this is the other aliens who I've made a pact with. Now, as planned, these guys, whose name I've forgotten, they've actually they've expanded their terrain or their territory um, to fill the gap that I've left, which means that unless they uh, unless Karen and attack them, they can't link their empires up again, which is great. And this is this is this was exactly what I hoped would happen because I wasn't able to hold this. If you remember, my supply was really bad. I was uh, these guys were all st starting to starve, and you'll see now actually that this is this situation has now fixed itself um, through through some nifty logistical planning. I've uh, I've managed to get some logistics down this way, so you'll see that we are we are starting to get a trickle of supply back through, and our troops are not are not starving anymore. Which is great news. Um, there are there are a couple of things we've got to do. I think we need to we need to move our troops back here. But I'm gonna I'll, I'll start doing this later. Let's have a look at the uh, VidCon first, so you can have a quick look at what happened. So we're entering a time of learning. I think we saw this last turn. So we, that gives us research bonus points. Uh, bureaucratic assets is at 69, which is higher than 68. We promised to our subjects, so we've made that promise. We've conquered Caranon and uh, Saint Martin again. Now we got a, a faint point for St. Martin, which is strange because I'm pretty sure I'd already con conquered that one. I don't know if it's because I renamed it. <laughs> uh, and we lost Alistair De Niro. He was killed in action. He, he's been around since the start of the game. Um, we've uh, developed Shining Star 2, which is an improvement on the previous model of uh, medium aircraft that we built. This one is going to be designed to take out hard targets. We've uh, researched Heavy Guided RPG. Which should open up some more models to us, I think. And we've got a um, mechanised Grenadier Infantry Army. We've just discovered that. And there doesn't look like there's anything particularly exciting in here. There are a few cards here that I've not actually used before. Okay. So, let's just have a quick scan over what's happening. Um, we'll go through the decisions first, I think. So, uh, let's set a national budget. Now, the Economic Council, I really don't think we need much more investment in, actually. Obviously, there are, there are some of these optimization technologies that could be useful. 
for them to to go into. Although I think that might be the Applied Science Councils actually. Um, but let's just have a look at the let's just go to the reports. And let's have a look at the Economic Council overview. Right, so we're not currently able to find uh, to discover anything. And we are currently working on hydroponics robotization. We'll have that next turn. I think I'm going to drop the... I am going to drop the funding now for the Economic Council significantly. I don't think we need quite so much funding in that. Um, applied Sciences... Is all is definitely going to need some more. Air Force is definitely going to be needing some. Interior Council, I'm less bothered about. Foreign Affairs Council, I'm kind of less bothered about. Uh, Secret Service Council is still kind of important. Staff Council is really important. Well, well, less important, I guess. I think what I'm going to be doing is I, I want to be putting more. In, I really want to be bashing out the military research and the model design now. So we are, um, this is quite drastic and this is going to cause some problems with regards to our loyalty. But yeah, we need to... Applied Science wants to go up. Something like that. Uh, this is probably the most drastic funding change, uh, budget change that I've actually done all game. But I've been thinking about this and I think it's time to do it. So yeah, look, um, some of these people have lost some fairly heavy relation. They always do when they lose funding, and it's understandable. You know, you're you're kind of cutting the, you're cutting a few carriages off their gravy train. The Justice Knights demand that bureaucratic assets uh, go from sixty nine to seventy two. Yes. Um, so I was looking at this earlier on. <laughs> so it's funny because um, I've got I'm I'm off I'm off I'm not doing any work or any study or anything like that for a little while. So. Aside from you know normal person duties, um, I've got I've got not, not a lot to do. So I was like, right, I want to finish this Shadow Empire game because there's a new patch out, and I, I really want to finish it. And I recorded several episodes yesterday, and then I got to this turn, and after all the warfare, I was just a bit like, ah, oh, I kind of getting a bit bored of Shadow Empire now. Like I kind of I need a bit of a break. So I stopped playing, and I did some I did some other stuff, and kind of had a bit of a break from my computer, and and then. This morning I was like, right, I want, I'm gonna, you know, let's let's get some more of this this Shadow Empire game done before before I have to start working again. And and then I um I, I remembered that I'd been a bit, I felt a bit bored, and I was like, oh, I hope this is not gonna, I'm not gonna feel like that. And then I loaded it up and started looking around, and I was just like, oh, I love Shadow Empire again. <laughs> and I think it's because I was like, right, I think today, at least for the next few turns, I need to start focusing on logistics, right? Because I've got some really bad logistical problems. And, you know, particularly the, this connection between the first and the second SHQ, as you can see, it's not good. We're, it, we, we've almost, almost worked through this bottleneck, but I need to start getting some of these better. Uh, I think I'm going to start building the high tech, the high tech rail stuff needs to start going in. And a gig wire look is, is really not doing so well with regards to its, <clears throat> its connectivity. And though you know, look, I, but for example, Boston, this place has got uh, it's getting a high tech rail station, which I've started building. Um, but we've got we've only got a truck station here. But once the high tech rail station comes out, I'm actually going to build I'm going to build a connection here through these mountains. It's going to cost an absolute fortune. Like I mean it, it's going to cost an absolute fortune. And we can't afford to do it yet because um, I need to build some troops here for this war. But I'm I'm going to start getting um, a connection through here. But it might just be better to go rather than go through these high mountains. I might just re reconnect this this way. I mean, that was a pretty that's a pretty crazy road to go through. So I think I might go this way instead because I think it's going to be. Like, let's have a look at the rail cost. Like to go that way, it's you know like it's six thousand metal, three thousand industrial points just to go through there, and to get back into here, look, um, it's eleven 1 hundred metal and five five thousand five hundred industrial points, which I've got. This is for the second day. So actually, I could do that, you know. The alternative is I could go this way. And this is going to be a lot less. Although this is also mountain. So, I don't know. It's hard to say. But I think that... I mean, we don't really need to do this. Like, we could actually just go this way. But there's also a large... You know, I mean, again, we've still got this high, um, high mountain here. So, I've got to kind of have a bit of a think about the most efficient way. Like, look, because this is... This is not that efficient, look. Like, these... I've got all these roads... 
and we're wasting we're actually wasting logistical points going down this way so and you know there's a branching penalty as well i think i might actually just remove this i might just remove it from here look because we want to be able to get to this look here uh, this this place whatever it is and it, but it's still like there we go look that that should that's a little bit better oh, there is actually a water yeah there's water here i think we're okay for water for the time being and we're set we're, we're managing to sell some so yeah anyway so yeah just stuff like this I'm, I'm, i've got to go through the logistics basically and and just rejig it i've already deleted a whole load of roads and you know I, i've got the, i mean honestly the the it's really an art form the the art the, the logistics in this game is really an art form and you've got there's so much to do by the way i'm really lucky that i built the I, I was smart that i built these extra roads now i know that it's kind of splitting my logistics but um we did get look um we did get attacked and we've only got 88 recon points i think there's an there's going to be an alien uh, there's going to be an enemy here anyway i'm getting sidetracked again so let's go back to the uh, let's go back to the decisions Supreme Can Command Council. I'm going to keep, keep that as it is. We don't really need the basic stratagem cards that they're making now. We've got tons. Secret Service Council. Um, I forget which ones all of these do. Let's just go to the let's go to the reports and we go to the organisations and Secret Service Council. Yeah, inter internal security card points, spy card points. Like all of these, all of these things are quite useful, and I've actually got a fair amount of political points now, so I could start using some of these, some of these covert operations. But um, I, I've got to kind of think about which ones to use. Anyway, for the time being, I'm just going to leave that. I don't really know what I'm doing with that, so I'm just going to leave it. Uh, military Research Council objective. Um, where do we go from here? Automated turrets might be useful, and I, I, I've been thinking about this. Why do I want automated turrets? Well, let me explain to you. Um, we're getting to that point of the game where we are close to winning. I'm close to winning. Let's look at the victory points. Look, we, we, we jumped up a whole three points in the last turn from the conquests that we took from Karanon Pax. Now, uh, Gigari Pax are still looking like they're kind of friendly. But uh, the, by the way, I think... I'm not sure, but I think Gigari Pax might well have been the nemesis. And I'll tell you why. Those guys have had heavy battle dress for ages. They've had they've had heavy battle dress. They've had this for years and years, game terms. So I thought it was Robosphere, but I actually think that it's Gigari Pax is probably the I mean look at this. Look at their, their network. This these guys would be ex extremely hard to fight against, I think. And I'm very, very lucky that I set that setting, game setting that made them so that they were a little bit easier. So I don't want to fight them if I can. I don't. I think I'm just gonna. They might be a fun end game threat. Like if I win the game, um, I, I forget now if you can actually continue playing. I think you can, but like maybe once I've finished the game, I might. Um, if I've if I've avoided war with them, I might actually try to take them out because I think that might be good fun. And they are. They will be a significant challenge, and I expect it's going to be a nuclear war that one. If that's what happens but yeah you'll see let's just go to diplomatic colors regimes and i'm just going to select three schools there we are so like this is the territory that we've got right now and i would say so we've got a war here with these guys and this is tarifel uh, providing I can get enough troops down to defend to defend my nation here, I don't think Tarifel are going to be much of a problem. They they, they might well take, you know, I, I don't want them to take Root Head actually because that's a decent city. But if the, you know, at the most they're going to take one city before I manage to get my logistics enough so that I can start re-diverting troops down here. Um, Karanon, Karanon East has a fair amount of cities left, but I think that I'll be able to gradually work my way down into them. Karanon West, all their city. This is like Australia. Look, all, all, most of their populated areas are right around the edge, um, in this kind of in this verdant area around this ridge, around these mountainous ridges where all the water is. And this is all out, out back for the rest of it. And I don't think they've got. At least I can't see any cities there. So 
I'm thinking that Karen on. Um, they, I might be able to just by taking this spur of land here. That'll be it. I'll be done. So um, it is going to be hard to get into there because part of the reason is because in, um, let me go back to that strategic map again. We'll just take a little bit of a closer look. Let's go over here. Click on go here. We'll go there. Uh, look, this is going to be difficult to get in with all, with my armored forces, and I, I actually think that. The logistical effort it's going to require for me to take all of this territory is going to be very, very... Well, it's it's a lot of effort. And I do wonder if I might be better off just picking on some of my smaller neighbours. Because uh, I don't know how exciting it will be just to trek through all this jungle. I mean, it won't take that long, I guess, if we get some decent logistical... We, we, we build our logistics up. Um, so back to the reason why I want automated turrets. Um, we've got Montefel. Uh, keep they keep uh, look. They've dropped down to twenty three relation. That's because they successfully they got a critical success with the provocation this turn. Show you. Go to the letterbox. Yeah, Montefel has managed to provoke you. Their efforts were a critical success. Relation minus twenty. Um, this is just telling us the scientific joint efforts we've got. So, yeah, I, I'm I'm thinking that along with the robotic troops that I've got on the way, I could actually just build up. In area, you know, like for example, areas where I really need to heavily defend my border. Like I don't know if Montefel actually swallow up Rishoy Apex all the way, all this way, then I'm going to have to, I'm I'm going to have to go in against Rishoy Apex myself and take some territory back before Montefel get it. And um, in that case, I, I want to build some of these automated turrets. And I don't think that automated turrets are that far down the tech tree. Oh, they are. They are. They are quite hard. They are quite far. So, but the, but yeah, I mean they're they're kind of up there with tactical nukes and tactical nukes we can't use this time, and I think I explain why. I th I'm not 100% certain, but I think the version of the game that I was running when I started the game had a bug, and I don't know if the bug is, I don't know if the bug is fixed for this version. I can't remember to be honest. Um, I did read it on the Matrix forums, but that basically means that. Where are we? Where's the very, very large tanks? Um, extreme vehicles. I think the extreme vehicles are probably going to be out for this game. Uh, just, just because I'm not sure. I'm, I'll have to look at that. I'll look at it later when I when I finish this turn. Actually, I'll go and have a look to see if that's working. But anyway, sorry. Bit of a bit of a roundabout kind of discussion. But um, I would like jetpacks, and I would like electric engines. But I think that um, it's going to be automated turrets next. And I think I'm going to set up a bunch of auto automated turrets. I've not really used them before either. I've never really bothered with them. So we just built an upgrade of the tank, uh, sorry, of the uh, tactical bomber. So Shining Star 2. Now you'll see that the difference between these two models looks subtle. Um, one's got a bomb hatch with a 10 kilo, uh, with a 10,000 10, uh, kilo bomb load. And the other one has got precision bombs. Now, the difference between the two is one attacks, one's got soft attack and one's got hard attack, basically. So if we go to the design, look. Excuse me. Shining Star 2 has 2,000 soft attack and less much, three, you know, 350 hard attack. And then the other way around for Shining Star 2, this has got like nearly 2,000 hard attack and less soft attack. Now, because I uh, proportionately, there's a proportionately smaller weapon system on the Shining Star 2. It's all, and it's also got a better engine design, um, and it might well have had some uh, the benefit of some e extra tech. Yeah, look, we've got we had a slightly better jet efficiency, jet engine efficiency. So this is actually cheaper to run. Look, we, uh, it's got it's got a lot less oil, and most prominently, oops, that's the wrong button. Sorry. So let's go to uh, the production cost is also less. I think. Yeah, the production cost is less. And um, where's the range? Here we are. Operation range, look. So this has only got 14, whereas this is 20. So these things can strike out a lot further. And and that's great news. Uh, look, hypersonic, yes. Um, so these are also quite fast, I think. Max speed. I don't know. I don't know if this is fast speed. To be honest, I, I really don't know that much about um, about these air, about the aircraft stuff yet. But I, I really want to get into it. 
So anyway, so that was what we developed last turn. And Airbase 3s are well within my capabilities of getting. In fact, I've got an Airbase 3 up at Skull Tower now, I think. So, and look. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Like so we are within striking range of Montefell if they do come in, just from Skull Tower. But I've started building a base here, look, an air base here. And this this will enable me to really support any offensive if I if I decide to attack Montefell this way. And I will, because I want I think I'm gonna take I'm gonna take Rishoye Pax. Uh, I, I want to take their territory. As much as I can. Okay. So what does that? What do we develop then? There's all sorts of stuff that we could go for. I'm pretty sure that the enemy aren't using. Um, I think we've got a flat gun. Yeah, we've already got a flat gun, and I should probably develop a sam, sam launcher at some point because they probably will start using it, uh, aircraft against me once I start using it against them. There are some other options, of course. Um, we could redesign a heavy tank. But can we... I'm interested to see if you can put a laser gun on a... No, you can't put laser guns on, on anti-tank guns. That's interesting. I thought you'd be able to do that. So we could build... We could get um, either a tank destroyer or a heavy tank model. And we could put a laser on it. So... Heavy laser gun. I mean, look. This 180mm high-velocity gun. This already... Uh, this has got 800 firepower. Bearing in mind that laser has a different penetration against metal uh, against metal armor, I think. Um, I'm going to just check that actually. Okay, folks. So look, you can see here that at least with the, with regards to the way that armor penetrates, um, or the la lasers penetrate. Sorry, heavy laser counts as 300 mil. And then we've also got the the way that different types of the different types of uh, munition affect different types of armor so you see that laser uh, it just affects metal normally so I, I was I'm afraid I was giving you fake news there <laughs> um, it, it's basically normal but it's 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 hard counted by liquid armor and fairly well counted by shields as well so also you'll notice <clears throat> plasma weapons don't do so well against metal um, for some reason they uh, metal and polymer armor they don't do so well they're, they're but they work well against liquid armor and shields so these are kind of a counter to the counter so yeah generally speaking this is why uh, it was probably good that I didn't go for the for the plasma weapons because they're just not so good against they're not really useful uh, unless you're actually coming up against liquid armor stuff and unshielded units okay so I just thought I'd, uh, I'd just show you that let's just close this down make sure I can all see it all okay so so a heavy laser gun is pretty pretty heavy and that, that if you remember that's 300 mil so that will go through 300 mil i mean it's a lot of rare metals excuse me i've got a really itchy nose um so yeah it's it's kind of a lot of rare metals and a lot of uh, ip but i think we're going to go for it it's kind of heavy as well but let's uh this is a heavy tank if i remember right so let me just see what we are doing with weight so far i mean I think against what we're fighting right now, 200 mil polymer pr plating is probably going to be. Mind you, they are using lasers themselves, aren't they? I've at least some. Uh, there, there are some lasers. I haven't seen any laser guns. I certainly see. Uh, certainly, they are using laser uh, light lasers. You know, laser rifles. Um, I might just go to 200 and then just see what's see what weight are we on. Yeah, and then we can put a, a triple, we can put an overpowered engine on it. I think that will be okay. I don't think we'll need the 300mm polaro armor. Uh, we've got a battle dojo. Um, so that would imp uh, enlist in the dojo's instructors and improve the experience of all our militia, or we could allow the battle dojo to, con to continue and receive 200 recruits. I'd rather have the recruits, and I want enforcement as well. That's going to annoy some people, look, but enforcement actually. I really want to get into enforcement because I'm desperate, desperate, desperate for the uh, tax, the plus 50% tax benefit you get from discipline. So you get a tax bonus plus 50 and I'm desperate for money. This money is the biggest problem I've got in this game right now. It's not all the invasions and it's not my logistics, it's money and I need to fix this. So hopefully if we can try to go into, try and uh, shoot up into enforcement, 
I think it's going to be more important than commerce even. So, okay. Uh, sending the troops to end this protest. Oh, this is St. Martin. Um, St. Martin. We just go and have a look at what we've got over there. Here we are, look. St. Martin's this one. Yeah, we've got 30,000 troops. Yeah, 13,000, so this should be fine. Copy that. Okay, so we did, we did, get, we did get fear there. Um, protesters in Motavier. Motavier is this one, I think. Yeah, here we are. Uh, let me just... I don't have so many troops there. But there's hardly anybody there. There's, there's barely any population. So, again, oh, uh, again, I'm going to use the autocracy, I think. We just need, we can't afford the money, to be honest. Right, it's in Caranon. Now, this is, this is going to be hard to do. Uh, Caranon doesn't have a whole lot of troops in, look. I can't really afford to get a lot of troops in there either. Don't really have anything we can send in. Um, we've got these guys here. So we could probably bring these in. Now Caranon is a huge... I don't know if we'll do it. I don't think we'll... Look, I don't think we're going to manage it. Saying plus 73,000. Seven, uh, 70, look, 73,000 and yet... Actually, it's looking closer to 7,000. 7, Quite sure what's going on with that. Oh, anyway, um, I, that confused me a little bit. I, I, I don't understand why why there'd be 73,000 suddenly coming in and then 74,000. Oh, mind you, they're, they're leaving as well. Oh, okay, so they've... they've, they've, they've I know what I've... Oh, I see what's happened. They've left the workforce and they're going into the, um, into the population. Okay. Uh, this is going to be... I don't think we'll manage this. And we can't afford to pay the 2,000. Oh, we got it. Okay. So, 4,000 soldiers and 10,000 security personnel confronting 15... Uh, well, nearly 16,000 rioters. We were lucky there, I think. I think we were really lucky. Um, okay, so <clears throat> we need a governor for Karanon. This wants to be a really, really good governor. Let's... Uh, we've got We've got plenty of political points this turn. So I'm going to see if we can get ourselves a really good governor in. Yeah, it doesn't look like we've got any cards sitting around. Um, got loads of scrap points. Let's craft a few stratagems, see if we can get a decent leader. Okay, we've got an autocratic private university. Not really what I need. Um, feeling waste. <laughs> Some of these names are ridiculous. Militant private hospital. <clears throat> Let's try one more. Democratic Indy. He's only cap one though. Thinking private vidcom. Commercial tanker. Yeah, it's just none of them are, are, are looking like they're particularly useful. Um... Unless we have one that is going to increase enforcement somehow. I think I'm just going to... Let's go for... Let's recruit a civilian and see what we can get. And I'll probably recruit a senior as well. Let's just get a choice. Um, this guy looks okay. He's this. Uh, he's quite old look. This is the senior. But he's pretty good. He's got a streetwise bribery. Okay, he's quite intelligent. Not got a very good war rating though. Um, this guy is similar. Diplomacy and oratory. This might be the, the, the oratory skill might be better. Oops, one of the two tool tip. Uh, diplomacy. That's in uh, major regime stories and diplomacy stratagems. Um, it's hard to say. This guy's got high. He's got a high technical rating. Um, he's, got, he's better as an inventor. But this guy's got investigation. Um, I might just put this guy in here actually, because just because he's got the investigation skills. San Martin, we'll just put this dude in. Okay. Kunaya to a big town. Uh, I forget which one that is. We've ha oh, and we've got Metrop Aurora to a metropolis. Very, very big, very, very big place. Um, we might lose this one. If I'm not careful. Let me just, sorry, let me go over using the 
the mini map so that we're not wasting time. So let's have a look at Aurora. No, we might be okay. I, I think that I can probably get some of these troops up. Yeah, I think it's looking okay. Looks like those guys have actually retreated. So... Yeah, Aurora looks safe for the time being. It's interesting how they moved back. I don't know why they did that. Uh, they, they, I guess they reckon they just they didn't have enough. They just didn't have enough to be able to... No, I can't. I thought I might have enough uh, strategic points to move them down there. Anyway, I don't want to get too heavily into that. So, yes, I think I'm going to do this. While I've got the points, it's, it's 40 political points. It's quite expensive. Let's just go with both of those for now. Alien natives won an official peace treaty. This is Regalis. Well, Regalis must be this one. So, yeah, let's well, let's get our troops out first and then we'll go for it. So, I want to... I don't want to cut them off completely. Let's move those guys down that way. And we've got I am gonna I'm gonna have to bring these guys down this way. I think if regard right, so I think that the I reckon we can hold these and I'm pretty sure that the Gigare packs are gonna do their job in finishing that finishing that faction off. I don't think I, I think that's not a, ma a matter of if, it's a matter of when. Um, okay, so yeah, let's do this. Just for the time being. I don't I don't mind having aliens on our side. I mean, it will kick off all those events where they abduct people and stuff, but I might well have the political points to, to integrate them. Okay, so the first machine gun infantry regiment. Uh, we lost a we lost a commander. Ah, uh, these guys are looking in a bad way. Um, yeah, we need... Well, morale's not great either. That's not too bad. Well, we might be able to destroy... We might be able to encircle and destroy one of their units here. Siege Infantry Battalion. That's overkill. Let's see if we can... What have we got? Are these... They're on defense. Um, let's just attack them with these. I don't really want to use the blockers if I can, unless I have to. Ah, oh, come on, you can do it. Come on, guys, you can do it. No. Um. Hmm. I need to finish off that. Finish those off this turn. I've got more blockers here and dragon tanks. Let's see if we can get these guys in. These guys might be able to do it. Come on, you can do it, guys. Come on, earn your keep. No, you're rubbish. Okay. Yeah, those things are just, they're not very strong. Let's try it with these tanks. Come on, you can do it. I don't want to use the blockers unless I absolutely have to. Surely there must be an abs. Ugh. They just out, I don't see how they can even have any any readiness left. It's gonna, I'm going to have to use these. That's annoying. Oh well. Okay, so... Okay, we got them. They're actually quite strong troops, those are. That's part of the reason why they were surviving so long. Um, let's just try and push these guys back. I will, I will actually go back to the decisions. Don't worry, guys. Okay, that... Yeah, these are really, really tough. These things are really, really tough. I don't know why are they in not, not they're on no retreat. That's that's probably part of the reason. So anyway, let's go back. Um, machine gun infantry. We've got three commanders, including two siege infantry corps. Uh, sorry, siege infantry corps and an infantry, a siege infantry brigade. Um, oh, it is stratagems I want. So nation, and I don't think we're going to be able to get them all in this turn. Oh, we can get two military. Okay, um, these guys need a decent commander. He's not uh, cap one. He's a cap one as well. Oh, these are bad commanders. He's probably the best. 
guess. War 15, though, look at that, it's awful. Let's get him in there, and then we'll get this guy in the uh, Siege Infantry Brigade. Then we'll, I'll, I'll recruit somebody else for the uh, for a core later. We might have to swap and ch uh, chop and change somebody else round. Okay, so the decisions are almost done. Um, have we got anyone else? Doesn't look like it, does it? Recruit a Merc, but I don't want to use all the points. Go with the junior, see what a junior will get us. Well, that's not bad. Uh, it's another cap one, though. Yeah, it seems, I don't know why. It seems, I don't know if it's just me, but it seems like the higher you go into democracy, the worse, <laughs> the worse leaders you get. <laughs> it says something about democracy, doesn't it, as a, as a political tool. <laughs> it's quite accurate. <laughs> okay. Um, hmm, yeah, these guys, I think... I think I'm going to have to fall back. And kind of try and hold. Yeah, see if we can't try and hold uh, hold the line. Yeah, we're not we're not very well entrenched either. So sixty five. Let's see if we can get. Um... That's no good. Come on, let's push these guys back. Yeah, great job. Okay. They were hard to shift because they're on their retreat. So... Uh, bikes. Let's just try and hold this line here. Um... Not sure about that one. I might just I might just fall back and just transfer these guys over. Okay. Um Yeah, and uh, just give us it will just give us a little bit of time to get these to get this armor up. See if we can push these guys, but they have got AT guns, unfortunately. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, that was that was bad. Never trust the odds, man. Never trust the odds. They lie. So, where are we? I think I'm just gonna rather than try and attack with just a few action points like that, which is not a good idea. Let's just try and. Um... Yeah, I'm just gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna leave until next time. They will they'll work okay as defenders anyway, and they've got blockers in them. So they 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 should be relatively safe. Got uh, we've got these guys coming into And we've got the fifth. Moving the uh, fifth off this border is really risky by the way. Super risky. Because we're we're basically saying we're not guarding this border now against Tarador. Um I might see if I can just pin up my my relations with Tarador a little bit more. I might see if they'll go for a non aggression pack. I don't think they will. I think you need to have sixty. Yeah, you need to have sixty points, I was right. So um, we've there's, there's a way of doing that. Embassy, Tarador, that'll work. Yes, sir. Okay, critical success. So that will have raised our relation with them. So that was worth it. Let's just have a look at their relation level. It's 62 now. That'll make it a lot harder for them to, uh, to declare war on us. So we've got the embassy in there. But I think I've got enough, I've got enough troops now to defend this. These guys have been workhorses right since the start of the game. The the first machine gun infantry. They've done really really well. Okay, we've got another group down here. So it's a siege infantry. Yeah, we could, we should be able to uh, strategic move some of them as well. Now we're past that bo that uh, bottleneck. So. 
to try and strap move them down. If I can, if I can really get really really push on these guys hard, quick, then we might find that there's a, we've got a chance of of ending their offensive early. Hey, look at this, it's having to redirect. Okay, that's not bad. I managed to get most of them down. Um, if you remember, I, I was saying at the, at the start of this turn, I think I, what, what I want to do is I want to spend some time going over the logistics. I'm going to do the war stuff, and then I'm probably going to end the episode, and then I think I'll do it. I'll do some of the logistical stuff in the second episode. Uh, mind you, I, it might not take that long. We'll see. We'll ha have a look. Let's let's see what we've got to do. If I make any decisions there. Uh, Uh, let's move these guys. Move these guys in that way. Uh, I think that's most of what I need to do on this side. These guys are all cut off, aren't they? Ah, oh, I should have. I should have um, unblocked this. There we are. Okay, so that's, that's at least got this. Who's that? Oh, that's Elaria. Okay, um, so let's get these troops into Omicron just so we've got some garrison, and we've we should we should now have. Ah, look, got a road here. Dirt road. No connection to the SHQ found. Okay, we don't we can't do it this turn. Um, so next turn we're gonna have to yeah we'll have to do that. These guys are annoying. They they just charged in and <laughs> took a whole lot of territory off me. But that's what they do. That's their modus operandi. So that's all they've got as well because they they are really not very strong. They're really really not very strong at all. Well, look at these guys. No, got no connection. Yeah, we've got no connection to the SHQ here. Look, I think there must be a bottleneck. Um, maybe we can build something in Gigwa and just move it. So let's go for an independent machine gun regiment. We don't need all these lasers, so let's just go for zero gun four with the which are which are perfectly uh, serviceable. Okay, we can't move them. I might move these guys instead. Let's move these and strap move them into open mount. I, I don't like not having any troops in any my in in these places. It's it just feels like a, it feels like a real problem. Uh, let's get these guys down this way. How are we doing on oil? Hmm. Oil's looking a bit desperate actually. Did you move them? So we'll just strap move those ones as well. If you can strap move them, you're better off strap moving them because I think it uses less oil. Um, okay, that's all looking good. Again, um, I know these guys have been sat here all this time doing nothing, but if they're keeping peace with Gigari packs, then they're doing their job as far as I'm concerned. They're worth their weight in gold. Okay, let's go back to the other side of the game. Now. This is a siege infantry, first siege infantry regiment. Let's get these guys in position. They absolutely need to be defending. Yeah, something like that. Okay. And I want more. Uh, we need more of those. So we can probably. Let's raise a formation. Um, we could probably do a brigade would probably do it, I think. And if we go for a heavy, uh, we just want something to block uh, a heavy machine gun infantry brigade would probably do it. So let's just remove those and give them zero guns. There we are. We've got plenty of the. Yeah, I think. 1200 oh yeah okay 500 energy i'm just looking at the energy costs here everything else is all right we don't we don't really need any machines so um 
I said these are going to be. Uh, yeah, I will, I will. I won't scrimp. I will use the lasers. I was thinking I might just. I might just use a different. Uh, I'm going to change the colour there because they're sort of clashing a bit. Let's just go with those, something like that. Okay, so it's a little bit different. Uh, yeah, I, 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 I was thinking maybe I didn't need all the laser or the laser troops. I'm hoping that these guys will never see any action. Actually, these are a heavy machine gun infantry brigade, but. Um, but yeah, I mean, you might find that you might find that they do need to be drafted into service, so uh, or they might actually end up coming up against against um, some opponents. Now, this is also our border, so we need to get we're going to need to get some troops down there. So I'm going to get another one of those. Let's, put, let's get them in Peter here. There we are. Okay, that's good. So um, we, we, we're going to have some troops just kind of like down this border here, and I might I might raise one in warm steam too. Make sure we've got plenty of so we've got plenty of uh, resources for all this. Oops. Um, I might mix these guys up a little bit. That will significantly affect their effectiveness, though, um, at the expense of saving a little bit of energy. I think I'll just go for these guys. Okay, and let's just change their unit colour, because I've got loads of greys. Kind of like greenish colour, that'll do. Okay, so those guys are going to go up this way, and we'll we'll sit along this. We're gonna we're gonna start building some some troops along this border because war with Montefel is coming and I don't want them marching over those mountains into my territory and cutting my supply lines um okay let's have a look over here right these guys are starving and I don't understand why it's um they're not getting food specific well they're not getting anything and they're, they're within supply look but why is that happening I don't understand it it's like we've got we've got plenty of I've, I've yeah, look, we, we have plenty of uh, supply points this turn. They're, and they're within pickup range, so... I don't understand why that's happening at all. I don't know if it's something to do with... It might be pickup... Let's have a look. If we click on the... Oh, yeah, it's a pickup issue. Okay, that's right, because we've got mountains here, so they're they're not getting... They're not getting uh, enabled to... They're not able to pick up through the mountains with their natural pl uh, supply pickup, so... But we should... We should be able... Unless they push us off this, uh, this road this turn... Yeah, I'm using a lot of industrial points to build those roads. They're probably not not necessary, but um, have we actually got a, a truck station in Caranon? Yeah, we have. Building solar panels for next turn. Okay, let's see what we can do about pushing these trees. I don't think we're going to be able to. We just don't have the. Look, everyone's starving. So I mean, the readiness is quite high though, so maybe we'll be able to do it anyway. Let's try and push these guys back here. Yeah, there we go, look. Super offensive. No, I don't want to I don't want to be moving into those with the um with these guys. I think I'm just gonna stay there. I'll just be content with pushing them back how we did that way. Now I'm hoping that these guys are gonna be out of supply. Oh this still got some supply, look. Oh, disaster. Absolute disaster. We managed to kill plenty of them. Um, yeah, but we're, we're also not in supply. That's the problem. That uh, should have been easy, that should, but... Nope. Okay. And I've, I've actually deleted a load of roads down here to, to try to, to make my logistical network a little bit less spaghetti. Um, but I don't know if that was a good idea, looking at it now. Because I've I've I forgot completely about the, the pickup, the pickup problem. So, mind you, they should be able to pick up from Caranon. Why can't they? Why can't they pick up from Caranon? I don't know. Is the answer to that question? Maybe we can get a dirt road into. It should be able to. They, the, their pickup range should be okay there. I'd have thought. I don't know. More more Shadow Empire mysteries.
No, I'm going to let them starve. I want those guys to starve more. Get these helicopters. Might actually use them. So see if we can figure out what we've got down here. We are. Oh, we got a light infantry regiment. Hmm. Look at this. See, this is what I was talking about. Because the AI's road got cut off. Look, it's just building more. This is part of the spaghetti road problem that people were talking about. It's not a problem, really. It's actually the AI just playing smart. So. Let's demolish that infrastructure. Well, mind you, I'm, a bit, I'm actually a bit reluctant to do that. Because it's gone through those mountains, look. Um... I don't think you get the penalty, it, the, the the branching penalty, if you cut the road off like that. Let's just cut that off from pull completely. There we are. You never know; we might need this. So, so we've uh, we've further cut off. We've actually further cut their roads off, and now I could shoot out down this direction. Problem is we don't have a lot of supply. Yeah, we still got supply, so um, it would force them to build roads further round. And I don't know if I want them to do that actually. Okay. Yeah, the rest of them is going to sit here for now. Probably need some more troops, some more. Yeah, they're all being used. Yeah, that was a pretty disastrous attack. Oh, that no wonder the the readiness on some of these troops is pretty low. Look, twenty six. Although that might have been after the uh, after that offensive. Okay. Okay, down here. Let's 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 extricate our troops from this mess that we've gotten ourselves into, so we can push these guys back. Do it. Do it now. There we are. And I'm going to kind of leave. We we are we are getting more supply now, so I'm going to leave these guys to to carry on getting more supply. Let's just let's push these aliens back a little bit. Mission accomplished. Okay. And yeah, we'll just keep them, we'll just kind of keep them here. Um, now I, I I would like a force to try to move in and take um, Riorini. However you pronounce that crazy name ah okay so it's not going to be as easy as I thought they do actually have some troops there okay uh, let's get some let's get oh no we're not close enough these don't have a very long range these uh, helicopters unfortunately um how to do this We've got to watch out because um, I, I don't want these coming up here and cutting my supply lines off. So let's let's actually use these mobile this mobile group. And actually getting them getting them over this way. So we can we can protect our line here. They might try and come up this side. So there we are. Let's get we've got So we're just gonna be able to stop them from doing that. From any potential Supply raiding. Um, do it, do it so try and kill some of these aliens. Mission I don't want to kill too many of them. I want them to be able to do their job. But um, I do want to put, kind of try and push do them it, back a little bit. And show them who's boss. Yeah, it looks like Car Carinon have got the opportunity to push in this way. And I don't want them to link their those to link these two halves of the empire up. So no, I'm not going to use their fuel. Um, this should be an easy, a fairly easy encirclement. Let's have a look. On infiltration, good. Okay. Oh wow. Locking on 
It is a division we're fighting, that's why. Look how many men there are. That was good. No, it was really good. That knocked their in, that knocked their entrenchment down significantly as well. Let's see if we can. I don't think we're going to be able to take it this turn. No. Just leave it for the time being. These guys are on infiltration. We might be able to take maybe take one of these. Let's try this. Taking on a division with regiment sized units is always a bit risky, but they are so low on supply, look, that... Yeah, look at that. Hundreds and hundreds of thousands of men. No, I'm not going to... I'm not going to do that. I'm actually going to attack with the infantry. I know it seems like a... Oh, they have got plenty of tanks, though. No, but they've, they've surrendered. Look, they've, they've just got nothing to fight with. They run all out of attack as well for some reason. That was a bit strange. Okay. Where are the rest of the... Ah, oh, right, okay. Let's move these guys so they're back up closer to the HQ. Uh, they were really far away. I'll just close some of this... Some of this off. I didn't mean to go that way. Whoops. Oh, I probably should have kept those in St. Martin. Never mind. Yeah, we'll we'll leave that till next turn. Uh, they might come up this way and try and cut this road. I'm going to get this these guys over this way. Just attack with these tanks. I don't think they're going to damage any of our tanks. Okay, in you go. So we're just going to just try and keep these guys pushed back. And once we've got enough supply, uh, we're just going to we're going to go for a counteroffensive. And as always, supply is the is the worst enemy that we've got here, really. And they, uh, the Carillon packs are fielding some very very large formation sizes. And that isn't, you know, that's that's an important consideration to be making. But that being said, I don't think really there's, I don't think they've really got much left in them now. Let's artillery strike. Yeah, let's get. Oh, hang on a minute. Do I want those guys to attack? Yeah, they'll be wanting. In, they'll, they'll be. They'll be using the main attack. Let's see if we've got enough ammunition to be able to destroy some of these. Okay. Wasn't the uh, most successful attack ever. But they, uh, they didn't have much ammo, so... Okay, let's try and go in now. Try and attack with... We've got some tank destroyers here. And some blockers. We want to keep them all on the same OHQ if we can. I think that might be overkill. Let's just, we'll just take some infantry in. Oh, there we go, look. Mission accomplished. Okay, so let's push them back. Let's move those siege infantry in. Okay, heavy tanks in. Even on no retreat, they didn't stand a chance. Okay, there we got an encirclement as well. Can use these guys just to uh, to cut off Mayflower Federation, whoever they are. They're a farm nation. It's funny because at the edges of the uh, of the empire, of, at the edges of the sort of known world, now we are still getting some of these more isolated communities that have been they've they've yet to be assimilated into the larger empires or into the larger into the larger nations. Now, what's supply like here? Yeah, I've got to be a bit careful about that. Mm. 
Move those down there. And I want these... These aren't... I don't think these guys are going to be necessarily needed here. I think I'm actually going to move these up against Montefel now. So we've got something threatening Montefel, just in case Montefel try it on with us. Let me just see if I can find the... There's one more um, group. Are they... I might have uh, cons consolidated them into... Oh, is that them there? No. Hmm. I don't want to move these guys too close in into these mountains yet. And the reason being is because I kind of want to get some... F I need them to get supply. And it looks like... Oh, they'll be alright there, actually. Let's get those in. These siege uh, infantry that way. Can we take them this turn up? Bet we can. I won't though. I'm going to let them starve another turn. Let's do that. Let's let them starve one more turn. Hopefully we don't get uh, shot down here. Okay, so they've obviously got no, uh, they've got no guns here either. This is the only flak they've got. Probably we'd want to artillery strike the flak guns before we'd, uh, before we'd attack with any kind of aircraft. Or we could use the aircraft to, uh, aircraft to do it themselves. The I've just done that. Why did I do it a second time? <laughs> I don't know is the answer to that question. Okay, uh, we've got more of these though. If we can have a look at here. Birds are in the sky. I like these scout helicopters. They've become really useful. Okay, well that's HQs. I think this is like the last of his HQs probably. Okay, um, we are missing one regiment in the 15th Corps. So let's just have a look what's happening there. One, two, three... Or ah, there they are. That's where they were hiding. Okay, um, I don't think we're going to need all these troops down here now. So I think I said I was going to actually start pulling these ones out, didn't I? That was the the eighteenth. Though just temporarily, they might be quite useful. Hmm. Are these all suffering some supply? No, not as bad. They are though. What's this asset? Uh, it's wind traps. Capturing wind traps is not going to help me at this point. I think what I'll do is I'm going to start moving these guys up. Up this way. So this is the 18th. Leave those there. I want these guys moved up. I'm going to get another border up here. I'm pretty sure the Montefel's going to attack us. Oh, look at these guys. They survived. They survived starvation. <laughs> awesome. Yeah, I'm going to, what I'll do is I'll, I'll start redeploying some of these troops. I'm going to try and get some logistics down this way. I, I don't think I'm going to have time. Uh, the episode's already over an hour, so I, th I don't think I'm going to have time to look at the logistical stuff this turn. So what I'll do is I'm going to end the episode here, guys, I think. And... I will for the start of the next the start of the next episode I will look at the I'm, I'm going to look at the logistics and just trying to figure out how we can where we can build some you know stations truck stations ro uh, rail stations high speed rail stations that kind of stuff just to kind of finally get I need to give my empire a bit a little bit of love basically but I've been getting so excited about the war side warfare side of things that um, we've really or that I've really kind of neglected some of the more important stuff really which is like these wars are good these war i'm going to win these wars now there's no doubt about it um there's absolutely no doubt about it the issue now is going to be 
let's just get some zero guns up here uh, pillar dump yeah uh, the, the issue now is going to be making all our people happy because we need more tax and you know maybe to try to try to get some trading going on with some of these nations like Vatillo and whoever it is else that's not at war with us okay guys i hope you enjoyed the episode and i'll catch you in the next one take it easy